Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to properly track multiple explosions with 100% accuracy. First I will show you the most common tracking mistake that most of beginner editors are making and then I will show you how it's done easily and how you can improve your tracking with simple steps. Let's begin. First of all click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. And once it's done, we can select points where we want our first explosion to be. For example I will select points right here, then right click and I will select create solid and camera. Now we can drag and drop explosion footage into our AE timeline. Check this video's description, I will leave free download links there. Once you have dropped your explosion footage, make sure to enable 3D on it. And now we need to track it with our solid. As you see my tracking camera is there and the explosion is here, you can reposition it, but it won't be 100% accurate, so what we can do is, make sure to select your track solid layer and press P on your keyboard to open position, then copy that position and paste on your explosion footage. And that's it, now we can scale explosion effect a bit and then check if it's tracked perfectly. We can also reposition it until it will look cool. So now I have one perfectly tracked explosion and I want more of this, for example I want one to be here as well. And here is the biggest mistake I was talking about, let's duplicate this explosion and reposition it like this. Note, if you are doing it like this, stop doing it, let me show you why, let's check if that explosion is tracked perfectly like the first one. As you see it's not tracked at all, it's moving. It happened because our tracking camera is far from that place. So now let me show you how to track another explosion properly. Let's delete that duplicated explosion and select our clip, then make sure to click on 3D camera tracker effect. And now we can see tracking points again and now let's select some new points here, then right click and select create solid. Let's drag and drop explosion footage one more time. Now enable 3D on it as well, then select new track solid layer and press P on your keyboard. Let's copy the position and paste it on a new explosion layer, then press S and let's scale it and then reposition it until it will look cool to you. Let's check the video again. And as you see both of my explosions are tracked 100% properly. Let's move one of the explosion forward a bit to change timing. That looks cool to me. Once you are happy with your explosions, make sure to toggle off track solid layers. And for example if you need more of explosions, always do the same steps, select your video, then click on 3D tracker effect and create new solids and after drag and drop your explosion footage, or you can duplicate the one you have in AE. Just make sure to copy positions of every new track solid and paste on your new explosion layer. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.